Asia, we look at mixed reality, bringing computer effects into the real world. With this technology, you can see any viewpoint. You could put, say, George Bush on your desk, okay, while he's speaking live, and you can walk around the desk and see him uh, live and in 3D, full three dimensions. The Welcome to Ibiz Asia. I'm Lian Peck. Virtual reality, a term banded around for some time. But now, more than ever, technology is making for greater realism. Just look at any of the latest computer games. Well, software developers are now stepping beyond virtual reality with something called mixed reality. It's a new interface that brings computer graphics and sound into the physical world. Christy Lustad gives us a peek into the future. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. In a galaxy not too far away, Lucasfilm Movie Magic has inspired a new form of computer interaction. We seamlessly merge 3D objects into the real environment. So basically what happens is that the, the digital world, okay, which is inside the computer, comes out into the real world. We can see it on our desk or on our workplace and we can move it with our hands. It's called mixed reality, an interface that overlays digital images on those of the real world. Researchers at the National University of Singapore are mastering the technology, building books with 3D characters that move and talk as you turn the page. In fact, the Malaysian Tourism Board has contracted the research team to create a brochure, complete with pop-up talking tour guides. Mixed reality could also change the way we watch the news. Imagine a report presented not only in audio and 2D images, but in a fully immersive 3D world. With this technology, you can see any viewpoint. You could put, say, George Bush on your desk, okay, while he's speaking live, and you can walk around the desk and see him uh, live and in 3D, full three dimensions. And you can feel a, a sense of presence, much more natural sense of presence of, of being there with George Bush. The research is funded by the Singapore Armed Forces, which plans to use the technology to give their soldiers an edge in the battlefield. With this technology, we can place the graphical information directly into the soldier's viewpoint. So, for example, he might uh, look at a building, okay, and he'll say, okay, that building is uh, so-and-so tower, okay, and that's his goal, he has to raid that building. And, for example, we can get updated information from satellite. So if we know there's a sniper in that building, then when he looks at that building, he'll see like a, a red mark saying, sniper, sniper, you know, beware. An application that would surely capture the public imagination, but are we ready for it? If the person uses the technology to... Um to avoid facing problems, then I can see possibilities or potential for dependence. People could uh, um, believe it too much, you know, and uh, then, then they, uh, they might get kind of a little bit addicted to it. But I think it's the same with any, any uh, new technology. Researchers say this is not a pipe dream. The technology should be available on a store shelf near you within the next one to two years. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong. A hologram 